I feel good now because I actually know what I'm going to do. The program is needed because students don't realize what options are available to them. When I was in ninth grade, I didn't have a me in the classroom to be able to talk to the kids and prepare them. Next Generation Scholars is a state grant and so it provides this career pathway model, making connections and touch points for young people to understand they need to have an awareness to what's out there, the career opportunities and the preparation that's necessary. The Next Generation Scholars program is a great way um, for us to extend the work that we've done over the last 25 years. And so what we get to do now is with having dedicated staff in schools, the students are getting a chance to extend um, that learning and um, getting to explore a little bit more about themselves. We are putting a coordinator on a day-to-day -day basis in front of 7th and 8th graders in a middle school and then also a group of ninth grade students at the high school. And the idea here across the next few years, as funding is available, we'd like to kind of stair-step this into each grade level. And it gives us a chance to really identify specific uh, student interest and needs and learn more about what they have in mind for their career. Our primary goal is to meet one-on-one -on -one with our designated students and figure out what kinds of careers they're interested in, what kind of classes they're taking, what their individual plans are and setting a path for them. But we also will engage with all students in the community through scheduling specialists to come into the classroom to talk about STEM careers and, and do a hands-on activity. And then we'll also bring people in from the community to talk about what they're doing with their careers and giving students some different options. We're working with a generation that is, um, they're very connected, you know, techno technologically, but not so much socially, and they're not really um, interacting a lot with adults. And so having someone as a coach to talk about those things, to help develop the soft skills of what it takes to, to, to be successful in life is nothing but an upside to me, um, because I find that I'm doing that uh, with kids who, who come from, from great homes, but they're just missing their really missing those pieces. The Maryland Business Roundtable for Education has a really strong relationship with not only uh, various business partners throughout the state but also education partners and that has been core to the way that we approach our work. In today's world with all of the automation that's taking place and all of the uh, new jobs that are coming around, um, we need to be prepared to be a better workforce and in order to do that we need to start promoting at an early age and in order to do that we have to show them opportunities. I've had students stop me in the hall, I'm struggling in math, I need help and this program helps provide resources for tutoring and just the fact that we've only st just started this program and the kids are already reaching out, I feel like that is a big a big success. I'm not stressing about what college I want to go to and how am I going to do all these th good things and how am I going to make money because I already set up and ready to go. I